Good morning, guys. It looks really dark in my car because I've got my little thing on to protect from the sun. I just arrived at my doctor's. It is so hot. It's like just crazy. Like I can't deal with summer in Australia. It's just too much. Like I literally just want to like go back to England like during the winter. Well. I meant England's winter because then it would be summer here so I'd miss out on the heat. Anyway, yeah, I'm at my doctor's. I'm really excited to see my doctor because she's been away for the last two weeks on holiday. And we have this like running joke about every time she goes on holiday I get admitted and like we literally were like, oh, like, you know, if it happens again this year because last year when she went on holiday like I was admitted. So we made a joke before she left about, oh, if it happens again, like you're never going on holiday ever again and it happened. Um, it obviously has nothing to do with her going on holiday, it's just unfortunate timing. I'm gonna go and head into the doctors and basically just get in some scripts. I'm meant to be meeting Tom at my mum's at like five, but it's just so hot. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to mum's. I'll just see how I feel after my appointment. And I'm also really tired because I didn't get to sleep till like 5 a.m. Past five, it was like almost six. I think what really puts me off is like when I struggle to sleep. It's like in my head, I'm like, as soon as I see the sunlight come up, I'm like, oh, there's no chance now. It's never gonna happen. And I'm such a negative thinker like that. But last night I had a shower, as you know, and I did forgot to take my pre-gabbling. And then it was too late by the time I thought of it. And I should have just taken it anyway because I would have gotten to sleep way sooner than five rather than just being like no i'm not taking it anyway i'm gonna head into my appointment and i'll probably see you guys a bit later I've gotta open my calendar and stuff later um but yeah i'm just really tired and just a bit grumpy because i didn't sleep much so and the fact that it's super hot is giving me like a headache but apart from that i'm okay <laughs> hey guys so some days are just bad i thought vlogging this would be easy i thought oh i've done it two years in a row like What's one more year? Like last year I was probably a lot sicker. Well, I'd come out of hospital, but you know, like I was still gaining weight and adjusting to being on TPN and life with TPN. And then this year I've developed anaphylaxis to my TPN and yeah, we're trying to find how a good balance between like not having lipids, I'm having sunflower oil down my tube, two and a half mils twice a day, or I can break it up even more than that, depending on the day. Um and some days are just hard, some days I'm tired. Last night I barely slept at all. Like I've had two hours and over 20, like two hours, I think I had like three hours sleep and over 24 hours now. And it's just exhausting when you have days like that, which makes it really, really hard to vlog. And I know you guys don't expect, you know, you don't expect that much of me, but I, I hold myself to too much of a high standard where I'm like, I need to vlog, people are gonna be disappointed. But I know you guys aren't like that. Like you're literally the best subscribers in the world, which by the way, we hit 100K, which I'm still like, I haven't even mentioned in my vlogs. I wrote a post about it on Instagram, but I've just been so like overwhelmed and like lost for words. Like two of my channels have over a hundred thousand subscribers, which is I just can't wrap my head around that. Like one channel alone, like <laughs> this time last year, it was insane, and then now like a second channel. I'm also doing something right. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, today's been a rough day, guys. Basically, it's been hard, <sighs> and I hate letting people. I've just been so emotional lately as well. Like, I'm literally crying at everything. I can't tell you how many times I've cried watching I'm a Celebrity this year. And I'm so happy because I was literally rooting for Jacqueline from, like, day one. Just because she was a familiar face. Because I've been... I've watched Coronation Street and EastEnders my entire life. Well, not the last couple of years. But, like, I recognised her from um, EastEnders. And it was just, like, nice to have, like, a familiar face. So I was kind of, like, rooting for her because, one, she is a woman. Not that I'm a feminist, but like, you know, I feel like I like could like relate to her a lot. Like, I felt like I'm a lot like Jacqueline in a way. Anyway, if you've, if you've not been watching I'm a Celebrity UK, you're not going to have a clue what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, I'm just so happy that she won. Before I forget, let's open today's calendar. I'm kind of rooting for another teacher. We've got the other twin, which we don't have Ron though. Um, what am I meant to do with this? I hope Ron's tomorrow. Maybe I should have waited. Let's open her. Oh, I really like her dress. It's a lot of a prettier colour. Oh, she's so pretty. I prefer her over the other one. I don't know the names. I need to learn the names. 
her like dress is like such a nice shade of pink like compared to the other dress but they kind of match anyway i'm popping them near harry i feel like i should maybe put like i don't know i feel like i should put all like the champions together maybe i'll wait till i get cedric because you know fellow hufflepuff rooting for him anyway tpn's up we've got a nice fresh sheets on they're calvin klein and they're so soft mm. it's recommended to me actually by like a mass cell group that were saying that this is like the best bed sheet site for Marcel because they're so soft but also like they just like don't react as much so we'll see I'll make my own mind up um have to do my injection as well now so I'm gonna do that and then I have a lovely oh I actually need to put a new sensor on that reminds me after seeing the freestyle thing there I've got a nice honey and lemon tea well lemon and tea tea because we ran out of honey i had to use sugar instead of honey but it'll do the job so guys just about to head to bed but before i do i wanted to show you these some of you actually recommended these but we tom and i had already purchased them when you when i was talking about i've lost the ability to, to, to tie my shoelaces it's kind of like a little the little things in life that matter so we've got hickeys which are basically designed i'll have to show you tomorrow probably because i'm not really sure how you put them on but basically you put them in your shoes so you can you turn like a lace shoe into like a slip-on shoe with these so pretty excited to try these my eyes are currently blurry because i've done my busker van injection so bear with me if it's not focused because i can't see yeah i just changed my pain patch i need to put on my night patches as well i've decided the ones that are actually making a difference are the iron the vitamin d and calcium and the b12 plus i did try this clear skin one and the sleeping one but honestly they didn't do much at all but i've definitely noticed difference and in my blood results too so i really 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 recommend these if you guys can't um absorb like tablets and stuff like that so anyway i'm gonna pop, pop these on and then tom i think tom's gonna see if he can try and put one of these in my shoes so if we do i'll show you before we go to sleep so basically what you do is you have to take all the laces out of the shoe and then basically thread these things in that tom's trying to do at the moment so this is like what, what one of the things looks like hope that's focused i'm so excited to be able to wear my shoes again and not have to dislocate a million fingers so i'll show you guys when it's all done it's the tighter ones because i thought your shoes your feet are quite small yeah they are so this sort of looks like on what does it look on the inside do you know on the inside it's kind of hard to see right. oh okay right we're gonna try it on let's cross it and dislocate <laughs> Yeah. It's like it's not focused. I should have put a sock on for this, but you know. Hey! Is it too tight or not? No, it's perfect actually. Let me just stand. Yeah, it's perfect. And once I've got my little pop socks on, it'll be fine. And matches my pajamas. Is that, that, it took, how long did it take you to just do the one? Well, I was working it out, weren't I, as well? Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we've got a couple pairs. Are they all in white or have we got different ones? We've got a black pair and then that gold pair as well. Probably not going to use the gold, but black and white definitely so. We can use the gold ones for like some trainers or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh, my white trainers. They would look so good. What white trainers? You know the Nike ones I got that you say I never wear? If you don't. Well, because I don't exercise. Good morning guys, I'm so tired today. I forgot to end my vlog last night, so I'm gonna do it now before I forget. I ended up changing my pajamas to the Christmas like gingerbread ones, and they're so comfy. And I wanna really wanna show you the bra that I've got on. Like it has little bells on like the booby bit. It's so cute. Anyway, if you enjoyed the vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I love you guys so so much. I'll see you in today's vlog. Good night guys.